What an incredible week at Starbase. We've just witnessed a spectacular static fire test that gave us an unprecedented view under the launch mount. 33 Raptor engines blazing in perfect harmony. The pace of innovation is accelerating, with Block 2 Starship ready for its first fire test and major expansions happening simultaneously at both Starbase and Cape Canaveral. SpaceX's rapid progress is transforming the future of spaceflight right before our eyes. This week brings you exclusive footage of groundbreaking tests, massive infrastructure developments, and fascinating engineering advances that are pushing humanity closer to becoming a multi-planetary species. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, bringing you the latest in SpaceX's revolutionary journey. Let's dive right in. In the pre-dawn darkness at Starbase, tension filled the air as Booster 14 stood silently on the launch mount. Years of engineering, countless iterations, and endless hours of work had led to this moment. As the first hints of sunrise kissed the Texas horizon, the launch team initiated what would become one of SpaceX's most revealing tests yet. The dance began as the Booster Quick Disconnect System, a marvel of precision engineering, extended its arms to mate with the towering rocket. Each movement was deliberate, calculated. One wrong move could delay the entire operation. The tower arms gracefully swung outward, their massive steel frames moving with surprising elegance against the brightening sky. But this test would prove different from all others. As super-chilled propellant began flowing into the booster's tanks, observers noticed something unprecedented. The liquid oxygen levels were pushing higher than ever before. Engineers watching their displays exchanged knowing looks. SpaceX was pushing the envelope once again. Then came the unexpected twist. The sudden activation of the detonation suppression system, a safety feature not seen in action since Booster 12. The plumes of vapor created an otherworldly scene, reminiscent of ancient steam engines meeting space-age technology. This wasn't just another test. It was a sign of hidden modifications, of lessons learned and applied in ways only the most attentive observers might notice. As Monday dawned, the real drama began to unfold. The massive launch tower arms, each weighing more than a house, began their carefully choreographed ascent. Within just 60 minutes, a new record, frost patterns emerged on the booster's surface like delicate lacework, telling the story of the incredible temperature differentials at play. The sight of liquid oxygen vapor cascading around the pad's basin created an almost mystical atmosphere, setting the stage for what would come next. The silence was shattered by the thunderous awakening of all 33 Raptor engines firing in perfect synchronization. But SpaceX had a surprise in store. For the first time ever, cameras positioned beneath the launch mount captured the awesome spectacle from below. The footage revealed something never before seen by the public. Individual mock diamonds dancing in the exhaust plumes, a hypnotic display of raw power being perfectly controlled. The central three Raptors performed their precise gimbal dance, demonstrating the incredible precision required for future orbital flights. Beyond the test itself, the aftermath revealed even more about SpaceX's relentless progress. Within hours of the successful firing, teams were already mobilizing for the next phase. The transport stand, a massive piece of engineering in its own right, was positioned with millimeter precision. The booster's journey from test stand to transport vehicle became a ballet of heavy machinery and expert coordination. Each movement carefully calculated and executed with precision that would have seemed impossible just years ago. What happened next would change our understanding of Starship's evolution. Ship 33 emerged from the Mega Bay, but this wasn't just another Starship. The Block 2 design represented a quantum leap forward its sleek profile featuring redesigned forward flaps positioned with strategic precision to avoid the plasma flows that had challenged earlier versions. The dual raceway configuration, gleaming under the Texas sun, showed how SpaceX had completely reimagined the vehicle's vital systems. Meanwhile, a transformation was taking place at the launch site. Massive new tanks arrived like behemoths, each carefully orchestrated movement, a testament to the precision of the Buckner LR 11,000 crane operators. These weren't just replacements. They were the foundation of a new era in launch capability. The installation process became an intricate ballet of heavy machinery and human expertise, 
with teams working around the clock to integrate these crucial components. The story shifted to Pad B, where more than 50 loads of earth were being moved daily, sculpting the landscape into something that would soon support humanity's most powerful launch system. The double exit flame trench design emerged from the Texas soil like an ancient amphitheater dedicated to the future of space exploration. In Florida, a parallel revolution was underway. The historic LC-39A, which once supported humanity's first steps on the moon, was being transformed for its role in the journey to Mars. The dismantling of the original liquid oxygen tank marked not just the end of an era, but the beginning of a new chapter in spaceflight history. At Roberts Road, Earth movers carved out space for a massive 40-acre star factory that would soon mirror and enhance the capabilities of its Texas counterpart. As this unprecedented development continued, Blue Origin made its own significant strides. The company's first New Glenn first stage underwent successful tanking tests with both liquid natural gas and liquid oxygen flowing into the massive rocket. CEO Dave Limp's announcement about regulatory approvals highlighted the complex dance between innovation and oversight that all space companies must navigate. The New Glenn's upper stage also completed successful tanking tests, marking another crucial milestone. The site of the Blue Ring Pathfinder payload, though small compared to its massive rocket, represented a significant step toward Blue Origin's goal of supporting national security launches. Their landing platform, Jacklin, featuring a sophisticated remotely operated vehicle the size of an F-150 truck, but taller, demonstrated the company's commitment to reusability. Back at Starbase, Ship 35 introduced innovations that would have seemed impossible just months ago. The optimized tile layout represented countless hours of thermal analysis and real-world data, each modification a step toward perfect reusability. Inside the Star Factory, teams worked with clockwork precision each movement optimized through countless iterations. The facility's expansion wasn't just about size. It was about perfecting the art of building the most advanced rockets ever conceived. In Europe, ESA's Copernicus Sentinel-1C satellite began delivering extraordinary radar images just 56 hours after its successful launch on a Vega C rocket. The stunning views of Norwegian archipelagos and European cities demonstrated the increasing sophistication of Earth observation technology, while the successful launch itself marked a welcome return to form for the Vega C program after its previous challenges. As teams worked tirelessly across multiple continents, each development fed into a grand strategy. The simultaneous advancement of vehicle design, ground infrastructure, and manufacturing capabilities wasn't just about building better rockets. It was about fundamentally changing humanity's relationship with space. Every test, every modification, and every new facility brought us closer to the reality of regular interplanetary travel. The story of this week's developments isn't just about technical achievements. It's about human ingenuity, determination, and the relentless pursuit of a dream that seemed impossible just years ago. From the precise movements of massive machinery to the delicate adjustments of thermal protection systems, every detail contributes to a future where Mars isn't just a distant goal, but a destination within reach. These developments, spanning multiple companies and continents, represent the accelerating pace of humanity's push into space, with each breakthrough bringing us closer to becoming a truly spacefaring civilization. As we conclude this extraordinary week in spaceflight, it's clear that we're witnessing history in the making. The successful static fire of Booster 14 with its unprecedented camera angles, the emergence of Block 2 Starship, and the rapid expansion across both Texas and Florida demonstrate SpaceX's unwavering commitment to making life multiplanetary. The space industry is evolving faster than ever, with Blue Origin making significant strides and ESA showcasing cutting-edge Earth observation capabilities. These developments aren't just technical achievements. They represent humanity's growing capability to reach for the stars. From the intricate dance of massive machinery at Starbase to the precise engineering of new launch facilities, every step brings us closer to regular interplanetary travel. Your passion for space exploration drives this channel forward. If you found value in today's coverage, take a moment to like this video and share it with fellow space enthusiasts. 
Your comments spark engaging discussions about humanity's future in space, and we read every single one. Subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours to stay updated on the latest developments in space technology and exploration. The path to making humanity multiplanetary is being paved right before our eyes. Each test, each innovation, and each breakthrough brings us closer to that goal. Thank you for being part of this incredible journey. Until next time, keep watching the skies. History is happening now. In the history of spaceflight, we've mastered sending traditional rockets into space, but there's an even greater challenge that continues to captivate aerospace engineers. Creating a spacecraft that can dance between two worlds, launching like a rocket, yet returning with the grace of an airplane. This is where Sierra Space's Dream Chaser comes in, a revolutionary space plane designed to bridge the gap between the stars and our runways. But achieving this ambitious vision hasn't been easy. From developing cutting-edge thermal protection systems to facing launch vehicle challenges, the Dream Chaser team has encountered numerous obstacles on their path to revolutionizing space transportation. Since NASA retired the Space Shuttle in 2011, the United States has been searching for new ways to reach the stars. While companies like SpaceX and Boeing focused on traditional capsule designs, Sierra Space took a bold step in a different direction. They envisioned a winged spacecraft that could not only deliver cargo to the International Space Station, but also return sensitive scientific experiments with unprecedented gentleness. Today, we'll explore the fascinating journey of Dream Chaser, examine the technical challenges that have shaped its development, and look at what the future holds for this remarkable space plane. From its innovative heat shield technology to its unique landing capabilities, We'll uncover how this spacecraft could transform our access to space. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. The Evolution of Dream Chaser's Design Sierra Space's engineers faced a monumental challenge when designing Dream Chaser. Unlike traditional capsules, the spacecraft needed to handle the extreme temperatures of orbital re-entry while maintaining the aerodynamic properties of an aircraft. The solution they developed showcases the remarkable progress in aerospace engineering over the past four decades. At the heart of Dream Chaser's innovation is its revolutionary thermal protection system. While the Space Shuttle required over 24,000 ceramic tiles that demanded painstaking maintenance between flights, Dream Chaser's engineers achieved a breakthrough. They reduced the tile count to just 2,000 pieces using advanced silicon carbide and carbon fiber composites. This isn't just a numbers game. Each tile represents years of research and testing to ensure it can withstand the brutal 3000 degree Fahrenheit temperatures of atmospheric re-entry multiple times with minimal maintenance. The human element, a new era of space access. Dream Chaser's first vehicle named Tenacity carries more than just cargo. It carries the hopes of a new era in space transportation. Scheduled for its maiden flight in 2025, Tenacity can transport over 12,000 pounds of critical supplies and scientific experiments to the International Space Station. But what makes it truly special is its return capability. Picture a delicate crystal growth experiment that took months to complete in microgravity. Traditional capsule returns subject these precious samples to the violent forces of ocean splashdown. Dream Chaser, however, glides back to Earth with forces no greater than what you'd experience in a commercial airliner, protecting millions of dollars worth of research. The shooting